All right, uh, we're here with John. He's going to be sitting down and using the simulator for a VFR purpose. So this would be kind of a familiarization purpose. John, can you walk us through where we're going and what you're doing and what tools you're going to use? Yeah, absolutely. So we're here. We're in the G1000. We're going to be going to Quartz Creek, Creek in Cooper Landing. Uh, and so I've got four flight running here. Uh, really just starting to kind of go through that initial briefing phase, right? What's the airport look like? I'm new to the area. I haven't seen it before. So when I start to walk through that on ForeFlight, I got the identifier in, I got the airport open. So when I look here, we're down here in Homer, we're gonna be flying northeast up, up to Quartz Creek. But as I start to look through here, I see, okay, it's a CTAF, we got flight service, got it. I could look at the AFD. You can see it's it's pretty uh, you know minimal. There's not a lot, lot going on there, but I can learn a little bit about it there. What I can also do is I can start to look at all the different features here in Foreflow, right? So I can look at weather. Well, where it's actually not reporting any weather, so I'm going to need to start to use some other weather uh, tools that I'm available to. This airport actually even has some cameras too, so you could, we could even tune into the cameras and see what's going on in the current area. Look at the runway, so I'm 0422, got it. Look at the condition. Uh, there's definitely not an ILS or, or an RNAV LPV, anything like that from a procedure perspective into Quartz Creek. But one thing that's interesting here is you know is there a taxiway diagram or anything there's not even that either so i really don't have a, a ton of tools uh that i can actually look at besides really just the afd here and just four flight giving it to me nicely but one thing i do have uh with the performance plus subscription of four flight that i have is i have a 3d view and this really changes the game for me so i can look here and i can uh look here this is actually runway zero four that we're looking down and i can i can spin it around and i can see two two I could alternatively just click 04 in the top uh, corner there, four flight, it'll just bring me right there. But I can kind of pinch and zoom in and out. And I can start to make that physical VFR sight picture in my head as to what all this looks like. I know I've got a lake here, and uh, if I start to look here, I can see that there's the, the river, and this is actually the road on the left side. And I can see that road from here in the, the yellow in four flight. And when I can go back to the 3D view, I can start to, to piece that together. So as we start to come from Homer, coming in there, you know, maybe that's that's down the road, uh, looking at the at the river, and then and then really coming in for a, a left base for for runway zero four. So really just trying to use the tools that we have available to us, and that's on the iPad, right? You don't want to get too fixated on the iPad. We'll obviously be doing this here in the in the G one thousand in front of us, and I can just you know zoom out. I can put in my my flight plan. Once again, this is going to be more of a VFR based flight. I'm not going to be picking my way through the clouds, IFR, IMC, through the mountains and things like that. That's not what we're flying here. This is more of a VFR type scenario. So that's that's why we're able to do this. But once again, I can I can put that in. Obviously, make standard rail calls as you get a little bit closer in with the CTAF. But keeping in mind that the the line transmission of those radio calls, it's going to be a lot more mountain terrain. So. Just keeping that in mind that maybe I'm not hearing other people on their radio calls due to mountain obscurity, mountain obscuration. So, uh, so just some things like that. But yeah, I mean, should be pretty straightforward. We'd, we'd leave Homer and, and go to Quartz Creek, and uh, heard there might be some good hundred-dollar hamburgers there. So that's what I've done really from a briefing perspective, walking through this. Obviously, the airplane looks good, feels good, ready to go, and and nothing wrong there. That's the Kenai River right there. There's the road. So at least we have some semblance of some realism, right? Yeah, just kind of like what we talked about. We're going to be following this river in. The road's going to be there. It looks like they've got a bridge there. Yep. And, and we're kind of right at the cloud layer too. So we might, if we were flying this anyway through this valley, we might want to think about It's not maybe 2,700. Yeah, something like, maybe try 2,700 or so. And obviously there's a whole tangent we could go on here with controlled flight into terrain making sure you're not pressing on into poor weather that sort of thing so yep so what i want you to do is i want you to cross over the airport and get the wind and then we'll do right traffic for runway four right traffic or left traffic right traffic. sorry we're gonna pass you said pass over Fly pass over, over the airport yeah. look at the wind sock yeah. right sorry, traffic for runway four yep. makes sense and now so the way the wind is blowing six, with the real so. world weather, it's currently saying 13. Okay. Um, this is a bit of a limitation with the simulator though, because it's not simulating how air moves through the mountains. And sure. it, it's kind of like a, a channel of water, right? Everything's gonna flow through that, um, that area. All right, so I'm looking at this, I'm 466. 
uh, in the AFD. So 1500. Yeah, I mean, I would just go a thousand above. Correct. So do that. If nothing is listed. Yep, do that. So we're gonna go 1500. And crossover midfield, by the way. And we're gonna do that. Let's see if you can spot that wind sock. So we can do a little for you. We're gonna get down. So so far, we saw that 3D view in four flight. Yep. And I kind of like the depiction we're getting here with the mountains and the hills. It gives a pretty realistic depiction of that yeah. airport. Yeah. Uh, the trees aren't as formidable as they are in real life. Yeah, kind of from a density perspective. Uh-huh. They yeah. are very dense around the airport. It's a wall. Yeah. It's kind of a good thing because it protects the, the runway from almost any kind of wind. Yep. Unless it's straight down the runway. Yep. That's pretty interesting. So I'm, I'm going to try to see if I can see that windsock anywhere. I think it's right, at least in the real world, it's right in front of you. 500. Shink rate. 500. Shink rate. Oh, God. All right. So once again, there's a good awareness. I'm looking for a windsock. Yep. And I go under by 100 feet to where I wanted to be. So you'll make right traffic for runway four. So we're going to go out turn the, line. The Interesting the they got the power lines, though. Yeah, that's right? actually accurate. I mean, there's... So the valley is bigger on this side. Um... Obviously, the faster you're going, the faster you're going to cover ground. So go ahead and put in one notch of flaps so we could fly a little bit slower. Yeah. And just keep 80 on our downwind. Okay. All right. So let's so 80 knots are there. Let's get down to 1500. First notch of flaps are in. We're on downwind. We would have been about a beam past the beam a little bit. We're now over the river here. You're going to keep this altitude coming down, by the way. Okay. So not hold at 1500, but keep it coming Correct. down. Yeah, you need to keep coming okay. down. This is a common mistake at this airport. Okay. It's kind of intimidating with this mountain. With this right rising. Here. Yeah, yeah, people stay too 500. high. Yep. All right, go ahead and turn. There you go. Back down to that 80 knots. Try to piece this one together here. Yeah, that's neat. Very cool. Very cool. All right, so soft field, so you'd add some back pressure, keep that's that right, nose right, roll off. Right. You're fine, you're fine. <laughs> yep, yep. I'm just continuing the <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. The scenario, and then the parking's behind us, so that's where we're going to turn around, go over there, park, and hopefully go over to lunch.